It's one day. <laughs> All right, let's talk about the six ways that food advertisers are going to just trick you. Just going to jump right into it. Number one, limited time only. They're just going to tell you, oh, well, this Starbucks unicorn beverage is only going to be available this one day. Oh, the McRib is back. Oh, the Shamrock Shake is back for a limited time only. Oh, pumpkin spice everything. Because you can only get it for this limited time, you need to get it now before it's gone. And that builds a new tradition because every time fall comes around, it's pumpkin spice heaven for everyone. But you can have pumpkin spice anytime that you want. But it's fall time. And it's a limited time only, so you got to eat it now. And the other thing that happens is you have Thanksgiving. Perfect example. It's coming up and you have Papa's yams. You got honey baked ham. You got all kinds of good stuff. But it's a limited time. You can only get it that one time. And, you know, it's the holiday. So limited time only. That's a trick. Don't fall for it. It's one day. So that's number one. Tip number two, colors. Did you ever notice that if it is green, brown, a dark red or earth tones. Yeah, I know what earth tones are. Then that means that you think that it's going to be healthy. If you go into any health food store and go down their cereal aisle, they still have Cocoa Puffs, but it's in a green and brown box, so it's healthy, so you can eat as much as you want. <laughs> so watch out for the colors. Tip number three is that they are going to use buzzwords. If they're using that buzzword, that's telling you that it's healthy, it's keto, it's non-GMO, it's gluten-free, there's no preservatives, it's lactose-free, it's chemical-free, it's soy-free, etc., etc., etc. Just understand that you're probably going to be paying more for that, and it might not even be a healthy option. If you don't know what those things are, and you're not sure if you should eat them or not, maybe you should just go ahead and subscribe and hit that bell button so that you can see the videos whenever they come out again next time. So just by using those buzzwords, you think that these things are going to be healthy. You've heard of that. You're like, oh, my friend Clark, he lost a lot of weight doing keto. I should try that keto water. I should eat this paleo stuff. I should go gluten-free like my Aunt Mary. I mean, all this stuff. It just keeps coming. Tip number four. What's funny about this tip, they're just going to tell you what's on the back of the container on the front of the container. My favorite is whenever they said there's zero cholesterol in these oils. It's like, yeah, they're, they're all cholesterol free. That's how they work. They're oils. They're plant-based. They don't have cholesterol. The other one that they'll do is they're like, oh, this is high fiber. Now imagine if fruits and vegetables did this. They're high in minerals. They're high in vitamins. They can help reduce your heart disease risk if you consume this with a high fiber diet. I'm looking at you, Cheerios. This can help with constipation. It has no added sugar. They're healthy. They're organic. They're non GMO. They're gluten free. There are no preservatives, lactose free, chemical free, and soy free, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So just by telling you what's on the back of that, on the front of the container, you think that it's going to be healthier. Not necessarily the case. Number five the treat yourself mentality. They're telling you what you need. They said, you've had a bad day. You need blank. You've had a great day. You should blank. You know what? You deserve this. I mean, that's good advertising. And then finally, tip number six, branding. This is going to be the people that you know that are like Pepsi people or Coke people. They don't mix. Nope. This could be the Red Bull energy drink or the Monster energy drink people that are going to have the, the bumper stickers on their car because they drink that. You know you're a Wendy's person or you're a Burger King person. You know the Whole Food people and the Walmart people. Every restaurant has their person. And if that's how you identify, that's where you eat because they get you at the Waffle House. If you like this video and found it to be helpful in content, be sure to subscribe. Remember, hit that bell button so that you can get the newest videos whenever they're going to come out each week. Remember, eat on, enjoy your life, and enjoy your health, and subscribe.